Mm. Hi guys. <laughs> How you been? Yeah, it's been a while since I um I want to spill my coffee. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I was uh I was attacked. I was attacked by a uh, not a swarm. This was a flock. I'm I'm telling you they were big. Big. Ravenous mosquitoes. Hell bent on draining every ounce of my typo. Well, obviously I escaped. And, uh, but it took some doing. It took some, yeah, well, I'm here now. So anyway, I've been busy. This one uh, we've got today, I've got a fun one. I was in uh, Gallup, New Mexico. Went up there with one of my daughters. Stayed in a little cabin for a couple of days. It was a lot of fun. She was busy. And uh, uh, anyway, I did have opportunity to take a short clip of uh, the um, El Rancho Hotel up there. It's a famous hotel, has a lot of uh, movie star history and stuff like that. But I made this clip mostly to uh, show you this book. I forgot to put the book in the uh, clips in there. And I do mention the, the book, and I, I just use a couple of little things from it. It's by, uh, what's his name, Gary La Stewart? Gary L. Stewart. S-T-U-A-R-T, Gallup 14. And, uh, yeah, it's an interesting book, history of, some of the history of Gallup. There is some history about that place. I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of Gallup. New Mexico. It's uh, <laughs> not the king of uh, too many things. Pretty small place. It is, however, where I imagine most of the wholesaling of uh, turquoise jewelry and that type of thing. I think the Indians from our surrounding area, the Navajo Res, um, and the Hopis, I, I assume, I don't know too much about what they say. I used to collect those Kachina dolls and go up there. It was years ago. Well, but uh, anyway, there's a lot of trading posts there. And uh, the Indians come in and, and uh, sell to the trading posts. And then, of course, the trading posts sell them to you or to other stores. So, well, I've got a little bit of video. So the thing's going to be just a little bit longer. I did the drawing before I started recording on purpose so that we could keep the uh, video to a reasonable length, you know. And uh, what else? I think that's it. Let's get to it. We're going to draw. I'll show you some video of the hotel. Tell you a little bit of history. I'll be right there. All right. Well, here's the front door of the El Rancho. You can see there's a little balcony up there for some of the rooms. And uh, we'll go in and have a little look. See what's in here. How are you? There's a lovely fireplace here. Can you imagine the, this built was built in the 30s and uh, can you imagine the times sitting around that fire with Humphrey Bogart and Ronald Reagan, Alan Ladd, who else? Betty Hutton, actors and actresses sitting around here. Just an amazing time it would be. Yeah, they, uh, don't have any problem with me filming in here and I'm obviously I'm gonna have to edit because I can't just have a whole long video but for those of you who watch older movies you may recognize a few of these people Texas Ranger starring Fred McMurray Gene Packer Lloyd Nolan So, anyway, yeah, you can see I'm using Buck today. He's running good. And, uh, 
In the next video or two, I'll show you a new, I got a new pin for my birthday. My wife bought me a birthday a present, a new fountain pen. But we'll bring that up in the future. Uh, yeah, so I sat around up there on the sack on the balcony there and just sat in one of those chairs and got myself a cup of coffee and hung out and, and uh, just tried to imagine what, uh, what it must have been like sitting there with with Bogart and and uh, some of those major stars you know just having conversations probably drinking too much scotch in the evenings and you know some of them going to their room trying to get a rest for the next morning and some of them down there there's a nice little restaurant there's also a bar there which I didn't mention in that little video so here's the drawing it's pretty simplified. The front of the building is pretty complicated, but, you know, we're doing these things like they would be done in your sketchbook. And, uh, it's, I just wanted a little something in it. Later on in the video, I do it twice. I don't know why I did that, but I just kind of flash, uh, a sketch I did in, uh, in a journal that, uh, I took notes in. So you'll see it's just a little something so you can see what I did on location and yeah Gallup's kind of a different place you know a lot of indigenous people come there and uh man there's some talented indigenous people man if you want to see nice work done by uh you know people on the Navajo res and things like that man they some of them are pretty skilled pretty seriously skilled people in any case, in Gallup, you know, New Mexico was kind of late in coming along as far as civilization, where the rest of the nation probably, or at least the eastern half, was already civilized. The train didn't get to Gallup. Uh, the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe laid tracks through the area in 1881. And uh, the, the, the name of Gallup, the town... It was named after the railroad paymaster. He was the guy that handled all the money, so all the people that worked on the railroad and all the, uh, you know, basically the money that was flowing into that town came through the paymaster. And uh, his name was David Gallup. So anyway, that's how it became <laughs> Gallup, New Mexico. Yep. The uh, Route 66 came through there in, uh, I believe, in 1926. Let's see here. Check my notes. Main Street in Gallup is Route 66, and that's right where this, this hotel sits right on Main Street. And the, the El Rancho Hotel is known as, I think it's called the Hotel of the Stars or Home of the Stars or something like that. Yeah, when you when you read up on the hotel, uh, I mean they're talking a lot of movies, like a hundred movies made in the area. And when you walk around those walls, man, it's uh, it was uh, built in 1937, and it was built by the brother of D. W. Griffith, which is really funny. Yeah, a lot of the things you see on the internet when you're doing the research or reading and stuff, it always says the brother of D.W. Griffith. It doesn't start with the guy's name. In fact, I don't even have his name in my notes. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. I just, uh, it wasn't prevalent enough for me to write it down. But like I say, it, it sits right, right on the Will Rogers Highway. And the address is 1000 East 66. Gallup, New Mexico, 87301. And, uh, yeah, the hotel was base camp. They used it as kind of a base camp for a lot of movies in the 30s and 40s. Now, I believe the website said over 100 movies filmed in the area. Anyway, things like Billy the Kid and, and uh, let's see... Ace in the Hole, Four Faces West, I don't know what that's about. 
if you ever get there, I'm telling you, I don't know, did I show the fireplace yet? There's a fireplace here. I, I have a little video of the fireplace. I can't remember if I put it in front or back, but um, there's some cool things there. It's kind of fun. You got to uh, be sure and get Leroy's tour of the fireplace. He's got a whole story. The guy that works behind the counter, great guy. He's been there 25 years, really, you know, uh, it's the people that make a place. You know what I mean? This place has got history. And that guy just really made me feel like he not only uh, made me feel comfortable, but I also felt like, you know what? This guy really enjoys his job. He really, uh... anyway, he's got a, a story about the fireplace. And uh, be sure if you go there to look for the Ace of Spades and, or the Spades and Diamonds and uh, Clubs and that stuff because he's got a whole story about it about the building of the fireplace I'm going to read off just a few of the actors and actresses Ronald Reagan Rosalind Russell John Wayne Paulette Goddard Jackie Cooper Howard G. Griffith Humphrey Bogart, Jack Benny, Alan Ladd, Betty Hutton. Let's see, did I say John Wayne? Uh, Rosalind Russell? Uh, who else, man? I mean, there was Catherine Hepburn, Mae West. They all stayed there. And the fun part is, of course... The rooms, I, I imagine, I can't remember, I was in the Coronado Hotel years ago over there in San Diego on North Island. And it's a similar kind of thing, a lot of movies made there. But I can't remember if the new, the rooms were, the rooms when you stay here. Uh, I stayed here about mm, two decades ago, I stayed in this hotel. And uh, the rooms are named after the actors that I believe stayed in that room, so... So anyway, back to that book, uh, Gallup 14. I was just going to tell you one little story. I, I haven't. I read this book like I don't know, 15 years ago or something. It was quite a while ago. But it's um, it's a story that's written about an actual event, in, but it's written with fictional characters. Does that make sense? You know, there's a genre for that. I can't think of the name. But the um, Gallup has the distinction of being the... There's the what I did in my sketchbook and just made some notes so I'd have something to talk about when, um, when I did this video. And this is a, a month later, man. I, I mean, my, my daughter and I went there a month ago. I've just been, uh, uh, just been hammered, just been really busy. And, uh, but I think I've got... A lot of the backup work done that I can continue on and get back to my normal routine. So anyway, the distinction is that um, Gallup is the place where the National Guard was first called out to quell a riot. And uh, as I recall, you know, if you get a chance to read the book, um, the miners, they'd been coal mining this big in Gallup. It was huge. In fact, let me see if I can find a note while I'm doing this. But, but yeah, the coal miners, they used a lot of Hispanic people or, or Mexican people from Mexico. And they apparently stayed working the coal mines through generations and built their homes on coal mine property, you know, and sent their children to coal mine schools. So the people, um, the coal miners were there for two or three generations from uh, Mexico. And, and and there's museums there. There's coal mining museums and there's a, uh, the Rex Museum. And there's a Code Talker Museum. There's a handful of stuff there. That'd be interesting to see if you get a chance. But the point is uh, when uranium came out, started up in like the 40, late, mid 40s, early 40s. They found uranium there and a uh, new company, I think it was uranium when they, I, I know they had uranium there. I think that's the reason they did this, but a new company bought 
that that particular mining area and um, kicked all the Mexican people out. They had built houses there. They had second or third generation families, children going to school, you know, and had their children. They had been reared there. So anyway, they pissed them off and uh, they put up a heck of a stink about it. And uh, so, and a sheriff ended up getting killed in the riot, but uh, apparently there's, it's kind of questionable who killed him. Anyway. Well, like always, guys, I really enjoyed this. I left you a little bit of another clip and uh, the pit photographs, couple photographs, and anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Now you see a few of the All right. Bye-bye. Anyway, now you see a few of the close-ups, but look around up here. There's just movie stars on every wall. Pretty fun place. Here's what the lobby looks like. There's also a restaurant hooked onto the place. And uh, nice gift shop. There's John Wayne. Bert Lancaster, oh my gosh. Lee Remick. Oh, there's Jane Fonda. Anyway.